So you see the table there, right? It's a two-horse race. Um, Real Madrid beat Barcelona 2-1, to one, by the way. But, I mean, we just got to win, and La Liga is ours. We could, you know, like, lose and they lose, or we draw and stuff like that. But that's the starting team there. It's the starting 11 we've been going with all year. I'm keeping the bench the same. I mean, yeah, Gabriel Jesus is up to a 90 overall right before this game, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, here we go. We're against Celta Vigo. Should be a win. Let's play this one, and let's just hope that we're champions of Spain after this. Let's go. Here we are. Unfortunately, our last two games of the season had to just be away from the fans. But you know what? It might not show right now, but we got our fans there. The Sevilla fans are there. We're traveling in Celta Vigo, a team that's 15th. Probably have this, you know, survived relegation. Probably don't have anything to play for. It's a pride, but, um... I don't know, I think they would rather have us win La Liga than Real Madrid. I mean, that's just like the general Spanish thing, I think. People hate Real Madrid more, because you know they win it all the time. But um, yeah, either way, here we are, guys. Um, final match day of La Liga, we're at 90 points. Real Madrid are at 89. Win, we're champions of Spain. Real Madrid drop points, all we need to do is... Uh, I mean, if Real Madrid drop points, like it doesn't matter. Like We'll basically clinch it, no matter even if we lose. But... Here we go. Star power's there. From De Gea in net as our captain, to Gabriel Jesus and Alejandro Papa Gomez, to Limer, Modric. I could name them all, but 90 minutes, guys. 90 minutes of game time here, and we could find ourselves champions of Spain. Come on, let's get the job done. Here's Luka Modric. Lorenzo Insigne, our new signing in January. And here's Gabriel Jesus. Alejandro Papu Gomez. There it is, 1-0 inside 20 minutes, and we have one hand on the trophy, two eyes on it, just gotta hold on here, great play, and of course it ends with a Gabriel Jesus assist to Alejandro Papu Gomez, his 21st goal in La Liga this season, and guys, that's the goal we needed, if the game were to end now, we'd be champions of Spain, but um, games don't end in 20 minutes, they end in 90. Oh, that's actually a great ball through here, and our defense has been caught! And Ulias Kunde put his whole entire body on the line. That's how much he wants to win the title. Hopefully all the players think that way. And here's Alejandro Papu Gomez. We could start a little counter-attack here, and I'm trying to play Insigne there, but instead it goes to um, Alejandro Papu Gomez. And here's Lorenzo Insigne. I'm going to curl this one with Lorenzo Insigne and just over the bar. Here's Alejandro Papu Gomez. Gabriel Jesus. Literally every game, it seems. Alejandro Papu Gomez moves up the field, passes the ball to number nine, Gabriel Jesus, and he scores again. It just happens every game, it seems. 34 goals in La Liga, and in the 34th minute, we've made a 2-0 against Celta Vigo. Here's Alejandro Papu Gomez. He's shrugging off defender. Doesn't matter his size. The seal still shrug them off. And he plays Gabriel Jesus. And it is 3-0. The deadly connection and now struck three times in this game. Twice for Jesus' goals. And then one for Papu's goals. And it's number 35 for Gabriel Jesus in the La Liga campaign. Probably 40-something overall. And guys, I mean, come on. Can we actually blow this? Is it possible? 45 more minutes to go. Oh, Luka Modric is getting forward. And Luka Modric knows this could help seal the deal and beat Real Madrid in the title race. But you know what? Luka Modric plays for who he plays for. And he gets the fourth goal here against Celta Vigo. Made it 4-0. It's got to be over at this point. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus goals for goal. And imagine if that goes in. Julius Kunde clears it. There it is, guys. Full time, 4 0. Sevilla are crowned the La Liga champions of the 2021 22 season. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. This is going to be the finale of the series. But make sure to not click off this video because you got to see the trophy celebration. But also, you know, we're going to do end of series awards and stuff. But, um,. Yeah, this is our only trophy this season, but you know what, we got the Champions League last season, 
La Liga this season. No cup or anything, which is a bit disappointing. But my rule is for all career modes, got to win Champions League and your domestic league at some point, which we have achieved by now. And it is going to be David De Gea to lift it. Our first signing in this series. A natural leader, a veteran of the game in the back. The Spanish guy, David De Gea, to lift the trophy as Sevilla are your La Liga champions. It's absolutely brilliant. From when we started this series in episode number two, one to episode number 19 it was a great series all the way through the Sevilla fans are so happy David De Gea doing one more lift and it's brilliant now go to the fans you know they traveled with us here unfortunately we didn't have our last two games in La Liga at home so it's kind of hard you know to plan it with the home team you know to win it but you know we won it and that's what matters Look at the team, it's brilliant. And just to finish off the nice celebrations here, you can see the team picture from David De Gea in the front of Papu Gomez, Kunde, Insigne, Ricardo Pereira, Jesus, Modric, Javi Valverde, they are Academy product, everyone everywhere, a great squad, and we're the champions. Alright guys, so that is the end of the season end of the series we're going to take a quick look at all detailed stats and things like that i believe um we'll talk about uh what's to come after this on the channel but either way take a look at la liga standings we beat real madrid by one point in it i'm going to the supercopa accidentally where we see barcelona winning that but yeah 104 goals in 38 games and um the only 33-4, which is the second best defense in the league behind Atletico Madrid. 71 in goal difference is absolutely mental. In the Copa de España, as we know, you know, we Barcelona actually ends up winning the du double here. They win the Copa de España and the Supercopa. Um, we know that we lost in... Was it the round of 32, really? Oh, wow, it was. We got Real Betis on um, penalties. Um, yeah, it wasn't the greatest campaign in Copa de España both um, years. And then Manchester City, who we um, blew a lead to. Let's not talk about that. Uh, actually, earlier in this episode, jeez. Uh, a lot in this episode. This might be a long one, but it's worth the watch. But yeah, Manchester City are your champions of Europe. And... Um, yeah, I mean, that was a, that's a competition overview. Uh, now it's time for stats and, uh, whew, Gab, Buriel, Jesus. 37 matches, 35 goals. Alejandro Papu Gomez adds 21 goals to that. And then bottom, you can see 14th is Christian Porto. He got 14 goals as well. And then you can see Luka Modric at 23rd. He's got 9 goals to his name. Assist-wise, oh my gosh. Gabriel Jesus, 28 assists in 37 matches. Gomez at behind at 22. And Luka Modric at 13 as well. And you can see down here in 20th place, Cristian Porto adds 5 assists and he makes the list. Clean sheets wise, we are 3rd best at that. With David De Gea getting 16 clean sheets. Bonu unfortunately just didn't play that much. I mean... What can you say? Um, besides that, let's look at um, let's look at the Champions League. That's probably maybe the only other um, competition we have a chance at. And yeah, Alejandro Papa Gomez eight goals in nine matches. He's second. And Cine as well. He had five. Remember with Napoli in the group stage, and he got two with us. So he was up there at sixth place. Um, surprisingly, Gabriel Jesus isn't actually on this list. He's all the way down at twenty. Uh, second with five goals and then Christian Porto is at 17th as well with five goals assist wise though Gabriel Jesus leads the Champions League with six assists Modric right behind him with five and Senior you can see at ninth place with three assists and um yeah and then clean sheets wise De Gea actually led the Champions League with seven clean sheets um we had a lot in the group stage but that's nice to see oh yeah now it's time to um go through some stats and Marcos Acuna and Christian Porto get 55 games each I believe both of them missed one game um Porto missing the one game where we had like against Manchester City in the second leg we had to completely rotate the squad and then Acuna missed one earlier on in the season I don't remember why but he did but um yeah they played a lot of games Acuna I believe played every game in the uh, first season but goals wise Gabriel Jesus, 45 goals in 53 appearances. Alejandro Papa Gomez gets the 30 mark. Porto had 22, and Cine had 12, which, yes, uh, I, I believe 
Seven were with us. Five of them were actually with Napoli, which I guess carried over. Um, Luka Modric, not a goal scorer, but he still got 11, just by being at um, 36 years of age. Valverde had a nice season at nine. Erdzi, Limer, Diego Carlos, Suso, Oscar, Rakitic, Quinde, Torres, Fernando all grabbed some as well. Assist-wise, it's Gabriel Jesus. This guy's insane. 45 goals, 36 assists, and 53 appearances. And then Alejandro Papu Gomez, 30 goals and 23 assists and 51 appearances. Luka Modric as well, man. 11 goals and 19 assists for an aging midfielder. And he's not an attacking midfielder. He's just a normal midfielder, if anything, more defensive. And then Porto's got 7. Torres had 6 assists. And then Insigne Valverde had 5 each. Nice for the youngster to get some. And then Ricardo Pereira, Cunha, Suso, Rakitic, Erdzi, Kunde, Limer, Atal, Oscar, all follow. And then clean sheets wise, De Gea, Diego Carlos Acuna, and Alejandro Papa Gomez lead with 25. So I mean that is the final team you guys see and just a quick thing, let's go through all the players and you know talk about them. Starting with the bench here, Bonu obviously hard for him to um, get in the squad but when we needed him he did well like maybe in the cups he didn't do as well. Um, Fernando more of a first season guy, he captained us um, at the way beginning of season 2 but key in the first season. Gudelj when needed, called upon, he did well and Zoo and Schultz didn't get much time just because you know they didn't. Um, Torres quality player, not starting, but quality when called upon. Oscar, I think the same thing. He kind of grew into the series, I feel like. As the series went on, he got better. Yavi Valverde, it is so nice to see an academy youngster here. And at just the age of 18, he is 78 rated. He was really good this season, in my opinion, for, you know, his caliber. Atal, you know, quality squad depth. Same for Garcia. Um, same for Suso. Rakitic, you know, first season is really good. And this season, he declined, but still good. David De Gea, leader in the back, quality all around. Marcus Acuna seemed to play every game, was honestly brilliant, but you're not going to see the brilliance of him because I'm not going to show you non-goal and action highlights. Diego Carlson Kunde was excellent in defending. Kunde actually got to an 89 overall. Pereira, hey, 80 million, remember, we spent for him. Was he worth it? You know what? We ended up winning a lot of league gun stuff. I think he was. Limer, oh my gosh, he is so good at CDM, but you're not going to obviously see the highlights of him because you're not going to see defensive highlights. Luka Modric, despite him aging, was such a great player. And then Lorenzo Insigne, got him in January. He was amazing. Suso, or not Suso, sorry, Porto uh, was quality last season and this season. And then the deadly duo. I mean, what can you say about Alejandro Papu Gomez and Gabriel Jesus? They are just absolutely brilliant. I mean, these two players might just be the best duo I've ever used in career mode. Like, ever. They are so, so good. But yeah. That is going to be it for this career mode. Real quick, we're going to do end of series awards. Make sure to join the Discord server. Link in the description and the comment section. Um, yeah, there's going to be three polls. It's going to be for player of the series between, what could you guess, Alejandro Papagomas and Gabriel Jesus. It's also going to be for youngster of the series. And I do have criteria for this. That means the youngsters must be... 23 years of age or less at this given time and there are two people that i'm going to nominate it will be oscar who's still only 23 and it's going to be yavi valverde so vote for your player of the series and youngster of the series not season but series and then additionally leader of the series who is a leader maybe not like you know leading in goals and assists but just a natural leader i have david de gea as the first nomination and then second, I also have the young, amazing center back, Ulias Kunde. But yeah, that's going to be it. That's why uh, Kunde is not part of the youngster of the series. I decided to include him in this leader um, poll. But yeah, vote for those three polls. And I hope you guys enjoy this career mode. If you guys are watching this, thank you for sticking around through all 19 episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed. I believe when this is posted, it's going to be July 11th. So I'm still going to have time to maybe do content. I don't know if I'm going to do an actual career mode on FIFA 21 still. Um, but I might do one more maybe before FIFA 21 expires and, you know, FIFA 22 comes out. But stay tuned for that. Make sure to join the Discord server for all that information. But thank you guys once again for sticking around in this series. It's only my second ever series I finished on the channel with my Madden one and this. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Subscribe if you like the content. Like the video if you like it because that is what it's for. And for one last time, I'll see you guys on that next video, whatever it might be. Buh bye bye